Then the, the next day was on to Sweden, a very expensive place to go, by the way. If you ever go to London, here's my best tip. Take twice as much money as you think you'll need. But if you ever go to Sweden, take three times as much money. My last night, I, I had a hamburger and a Diet Coke for $35. So uh, it's a tough place to be. We went, our uh, first night, we went with Martha and Tor. One of the things I was looking for was, is God, why, why now? Now, I know our, our church founder was named Sig Esselstrom, and maybe that's a good reason. But why would we want to get involved and help these people now? And so you look like the Blackaby principle for evidence. Is God doing anything here? So we met with Martha and Tor, because Martha works with Campus Crusade in Sweden. And her job is to handle the internet, all the people who want to uh, ask questions about a, uh, making the decision to follow Christ in Sweden, get routed through her. And uh, I asked her, how many people last year asked about becoming followers of Jesus Christ? And she told me somewhere over 70,000 people. Now, the Wall Street Journal says there are 30,000 born-again Christians in Sweden out of 9 million people. But she told me that last year, 70,000 are asking questions about it. Isn't that a, a kind of a powerful thing? And Tor, he was a pioneer. He came up with the first Christian website in Sweden about 15 years ago called the cross.com. And it you know, brings a lot of Christians in the country together. Then the, the next morning, we got up for breakfast with the leaders of Interact. And here's Anders, who's their president. Okay. Hey, jag heter Anders Blåberg och kommer från Sverige. Hello there, I'm Anders Blåberg from Sweden, uh, the mission director of the Swedish Baptist. Uh, and I'm greeting all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm happy to be here uh, at uh, a meeting in uh, Tallinn, just together with uh, my friends from Converge. Uh, and I hope that uh, you will perhaps someday come into Sweden and join us uh, in our work. Welcome! And uh, anyway, you can pray for us in Sweden. We have so much together, uh, especially our history and our faith in Jesus Christ. So, welcome, please. Interact is a group of Baptist and Pentecostal churches in Sweden. It's by far the most spiritually dynamic group, over 300 churches, and right now trying to plant 75 new churches in Sweden, targeting 10 churches right now in Stockholm that they'd like to plant. One of the exciting stories we heard is how Hillsongs in Australia has started a church in Stockholm. And it's meeting in a, in a nightclub in the center of Stockholm and is having a great ministry with young professionals. It is now three months old as a congregation and they've already got 600 people coming on Sunday uh, to worship God there. And last week alone, over 50 people accepted Christ in that place. So God seems to be doing some significant things there. Uh, the next day, we met with the other group, the more traditional group in Sweden, uh, the Baptist Union, and here's uh, Karin, who's the leader of that group. Hello, my name is Karin Viborn, and I'm working as the General Secretary for the Baptist Union of Sweden. I want to greet you for, from your sisters and brothers in Sweden, where some of you have connections a long way ago. And I want to say, bless you in your work to getting Jesus Christ known in your area. Thank you. As we were there in Tallinn having our meeting, I uh, would come in the break and watch CNN, and they showed these scenes of the people in Chile drilling down to those men who had been trapped in the heart of the earth for 69 days. As one of the miners said, we felt like we were trapped between heaven and hell, between God and the devil. And as we were there together, uh, one by one, the miners were coming out. And when I talked in the office, I said, look at the whole scene of the people whose lives have been rescued now because some of these people drilling had worked for 39 days nonstop, day and night, to reach down to those people who would die if anybody didn't care enough to try to save them. And look at the workers, look at the families, look at the joy that came with each one of those people whose life was saved. And I said, that's who we are. We're not 
the people in the hole. We're the people who drill down. We're the people who work tirelessly to try to rescue those people, to try to save those lives. That's who we are. And what we get is the joy when every one of them comes and finds life and life that never ends. That's when the party comes. As Jesus said, the angels in heaven even rejoice at that. And that's the victory for us, is that we get to do that here and around the world. Because Jesus never told us to have strategy sessions first. He never said, give a lot of time to focus and planning. He never even said, pray. What he said was, go. And as you're going, make disciples.